For this installation you will need a 5 gallon pail of Rydon CHS formula and an HP 300 pump. Included with the pump is a dosage table and installation guide, two valve core removers, and two pump chuck attachments. Slip the pump into the pail through the opening at the top. Remove the valve cap on the side of the pail and attach the pump chuck to the valve stem. Adjust the hose at the top of the handle so that it is perpendicular to the handle. To break the vacuum, unscrew the black fitting at the base of the handle to loosen the pump and draw the handle upwards, then retighten the black fitting. Turn the ball valve attached to the base of the pump chuck 90 degrees to open. Push down on the handle to recirculate the product and bleed the hose. And now you are ready to install. Locate the valve stem to make sure it is in the proper position for installation. If the valve stem is located between 10 and 2 o'clock, the area highlighted in red, adjust the tire accordingly to reposition the valve stem in a proper location for installation. Make a note of the three numbers on the side of the tire that denote the tire's size. To find the correct dose, open the dosage calculator and installation guide or reference Rydon's website. Use the last number in the tire sequence, in this case 22.5, to locate all the 22.5 inch tires. Use the remaining two numbers to find the exact tire match in the corresponding dosage. As you raise the pump, there are numbers etched into the pump shaft. These numbers indicate how many ounces of product are injected into the tire when the pump is compressed to that corresponding point. A complete pump stroke injects 10 ounces. Just below the pump handle, a silver locking collar can be loosened and attached to any ounce measurements needed. Two additional pump chuck extenders come with the HP 300 hand pump. The reverse chuck extender is for an application in an outside wheel assembly where the valve stem points inward. The straight chuck extender is for an application in an inside wheel assembly where the valve stem points outward. Remove the valve core from the valve stem. Attach the pump chuck to the valve stem and open the ball valve. If the air pressure in the truck tire is too high, it will be impossible to depress the pump handle. If this should occur, detach the pump chuck and release more air from the tire. The hand pump allows product to be installed in tires pressurized up to 60 psi. However, the lower the pressure, the easier it is to install. Reattach the pump chuck and continue with the installation process. Once the required dosage has been installed, Close the ball valve and detach the pump chuck from the valve stem. Using an air supply, clear the valve of any remaining product. Reinsert the valve core and add air until the desired inflation pressure has been reached for service. Place one of the supplied orange o-rings over the valve stem to note that the tire has been treated with Rydon and reattach the valve cap. Attach the reverse pump chuck extender to the pump chuck. Using the small valve core remover supplied, remove the valve core from the valve stem. Attach the reverse pump chuck to the outside wheel assembly where the valve stem points inward. Open the ball valve by turning it 90 degrees. Continue with the installation process as outlined earlier. 